You guys are really not going to tell me where we're going, huh? Uh, could you at least tell me how long it's going to take to get there? I got to pee. One thing about living in New Mexico. Too many secrets. You ask too many questions, you end up in the back of a car like this. Can we at least stop and get something to drink? I don't know. Maybe a cocktail or something somewhere? Know anything about cocktails? I don't think you know anything about cocktails. <sighs> oh my god, this is taking forever. I want you both to understand something. I am a very important man. And if anything so help me God happens to me, there will be an uprising of biblical proportions. My dad was a colonel in the New Mexico State National Guard. You don't want to mess with me. Uh, why don't you shut up? My fellow New Mexico State Aggie alum, world famous and award winning bartender, my old friend Danny Gonzalez. I'm glad you found your way in. I hope it was a comfortable ride. Oh boy, I can't believe it. I got my hands on you, you fracking toaster. So Danny? Yes? What's the big secret around here? Earliest secrets I was taught in bartending was how to make the perfect fresh margarita. The secret to all of that is fresh lime juice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I agree completely, Mark. Mm -hmm. Here's a couple limes for you. You want to start out with your fresh lime juice. You know, you use about an ounce. Anytime you're making any kind of cocktail, you want to put in your sour first, and then you add your sweet because the sugar is heavier than the citrus juice you're putting in. So then you go ahead and put in some agave nectar. Okay, and I put about a half ounce of that. Okay. Not too much. The next thing I add is a nice silver tequila. I, I put about an ounce and a half of this. Now you have two choices. The original margarita was made with an orange liqueur and then you have an orange curacao, which you may want to use in yours. Okay. You know, my grandma really loves this stuff. Your grandma really loves yes, that sir. way, absolutely. <laughs> I heard she was French. She was very fruity, that's for sure. Some people like salt in their margaritas. Mm -hmm. I'm not partial to it. For my margarita, I'm gonna put some salt. You leave yours without. The next thing that, that we wanna do is make sure we shake the cocktail properly. Proper shaking technique is so underrated, but as a judge of many bartending competitions myself, I always have certain criteria that I look for. Why don't you explain to those people what that criteria would be? The secret to shaking properly is you always want to have both hands on, on your, this is called the Boston shaker. Since I'm right-handed, I put my right thumb on the bottom. I put my left hand with my, my middle finger up here and I like to shake it, and the whole point of this, to emulsify all the ingredients, that is to combine all flavors at once, I try to bounce it off as many angles as I can. And always, always, smile when you shake. called the pony. Large size of the jigger, smaller size of the pony. Can you say pony? Can you say pony?
Thank you.